kids. I'm going to pick up my tempered glass. And this is where I bought it from. Kelly's Glass and Mirror. Here's her phone number and all. And there's me again, trying to look discreet. Going in. Ready? How you doing? Here to get my glass. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna put this down a minute. Here's my piece of glass that goes in there. See that crack? All right, not doing it today. And I think I have a pretty good handle on how to move that mechanism that sticks out too much. Okay, kids. I'm kind of nervous having this back here. You know what? That piece of glass cost me only $60. I'm going to cover it, cover it with that. And my glass is right under there. Hi, kids. I'm in the RV and I'm on my way to the glass place to see a professional about putting in that piece of glass that I bought for the bedroom. Only reason being is, I'm in my RV so I'm watching traffic going by. Only reason being is that I went to see Nick about my radiator and I asked him, you said that you could put this glass in in case I get jammed up with it. And he looked and he says, boy oh boy, I don't know if I know how to do that. Or not if he, does, if he knows how to do it, he just said that there's some kind of special glue that he's got to get. And, um, and he's, he's not sure that he has it or something, whatever, but he's always very honest with me. He said he wasn't sure that he could do it or that he was the one to do it. So he gave me the name of a professional and it, the guy is over on Craig and Lamb. I asked him if I could do this and Nick is really very honest with me. He'll always tell me when I can do something. He's the one who told me that uh, when I saw something hanging underneath my RV, I sent him a picture and it turned out it was my exhaust hangers. They uh, hold on my exhaust pipe to my generator. Showed it to him. I said, can you fix it? He goes, you can do this. So I actually did it. It cost me $13 to fix my own exhaust hangers. And I actually had to uh, fabricate something on my own so that I could have the second one hold up. It was too long. Anyway, that's diverting again, tangenting. So right now I'm on my way to the glass place to see if the guy could take a look and hopefully get my piece of glass in there, you know? All right, so I'll see you later. Come here, baby. All right, I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Here's where I'm going. Secured all the glass. Okay, see that? Oh, they got several trucks, which that's encouraging. Means to me it's a big, kind of a big place. I always like to get my hand going in, you know? Okay, dog is pulling me. Okay, come on, baby. I love Jesus. There's a guy named Jesus. <laughs> Josh. Hi, Josh. Nice to meet you. I'm Shelly. Nice to nice to meet you. Um, I called down here. And I have an RV. It's parked around the side there. It's a 94. And I have a jealousy window. Yeah. Okay. Um, I bought a piece of glass and I don't know how to, my friend Nick, who owns CNC Auto and Machine Shop, told me to come down here. Okay. Uh, you said it's right here on the right side? Right on the right, side. Me... Okay, thanks. Woo. Come on, big boy. I guess this is the guy. She has the glass inside. This is glass? Yeah, but uh, I don't know. The guy uh, who I went to at the glass place said that it's not tempered glass. Yeah, That's why it cracked, yeah. yeah. So I don't know what to do here. I need to be careful. I want to damage the freight. Do we need. Uh, maybe we just need to take No, no, no. There's no sink. Yeah, I understand. That's um, why I want to see. It's, it's, it looks like it's glued in. Yeah, this is a this is a new so, type. How much uh, time do you have? Oh, I could make an appointment and come back if you need me to. Uh, what is the glass? I'm glass okay with glass. that. Yeah, sure, come on in. Okay. 
So, we got some good news today. A little good news, a little mediocre news. Uh, the good news is Ash, that's his name, Ash, can fix the window. The bad news, well not bad news, you know, the um, disconcerting news is that because this window was so crudely fixed last time, it's like slathered with glue. And that is going to take him a long time to get off. His expert craftsman does not want to bend the mechanism. So that's what's going to take the most time is getting, breaking the glass and then getting all that glue out of there because of the, getting all that glass out of there because of the glue. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go there and I'm going to watch because if you're telling me that it takes that long, it better freaking take that long. Anyway, he can do it. He told me I did myself a major favor by getting the glass. <clears throat> already cut and that'll be cheaper. And uh, it'll cost me like $95. So hopefully I'll have uh, windows that close all the way. That's a major concern for me because if I don't have that, hmm, that will keep me from being on the road anywhere really strange far from home you know that really would be a concern of mine okay so it looks like that problem is going to be solved so here we are you can see the window is fixed totally fixed totally flat look at that sealed shut tight as a drum when ash and his master craftsman i believe the man's name was gustav started on it they told me their main concern was that this mechanism would become bent and they wouldn't be able to get the window closed shut well you can see that old world craftsmanship know-how and ingenuity got the job done I'm supposed to go up to uh, secured auto glass and they'll take off the tape for me and whatever residual pieces of glue are stuck to the glass. I'm just extremely happy with the job. I thought that this was something that I could do myself, but this was actually something I had to take my hands off of and relinquish to a professional. So Ash, Gustav, secured auto glass, thank you so much for what you did. Nick, thank you for recommending them to me. I will definitely send people there. Totally done. Look at that. Now I can go on the road and I have windows that are closed, sealed, shut, and locked. So this is the receipt that the man gave me. He told me it would cost me $95. That's exactly what he charged me. Not even a dime in tax. You know why? because it was labor only, customer's parts. You see what he wrote on here? Now, here's what gets me, is that you know you are dealing with a reputable company when they give you this, telling you their mantra is to be honest, and asking you to go to Yelp and write a review on them. Thank you, Ash. Thank you. On the other side, mm. hey, shifty boy, come on, baby, I'm just showing the kids the windows, yes. So on the other side, you can see I went in and I removed the eclipse on the sides and cranked the bottom window all the way closed. The middle window then was free floating and flapping. So I don't know if you could tell right off, but I put black tape there to keep it shut. And now both my windows in my bedroom are sealed shut and you would not believe how much warmer it is in there. Isn't that crazy that I was riding around with windows that were half opened? Shifty. I smell Chinese food. Oh, Shifty, I should take you home and go eat. 
Because he'll be all over me in the buffet. He'll be pumping my leg for food. Pumping my leg and eating my food. There's a guy named Jesus. Isn't that crazy? At the same time. Shifty! Shifty boy! I'm gonna make a song about him. He's a shifty fellow. He's not quite the Pink Panther. He's shifty. Shifty fellow. Well, maybe I'll take a little park right now. You wanna go to the park right now? I can do that. Ooh. Oh shit, big bump. Oh man, okay. Here's my concern. Look at this, alright? I'm in the middle lane, and I have all of the, the manhole covers that have like two inches. That you go, your tire goes down into. If I pull over to the right lane, I got trees hanging in my face. If I pull over to the left lane, it's turning. I gotta keep slowing down everybody every time somebody makes a turn. Oh, I tell you, this world is just out to get me. <laughs> hey, look at those people. Why me? Why me? You? Everybody. Everybody's driving on this road. Shifty, okay? Shifty, you okay? Shifty. I'm trying to get him to know his name. Shifty, are you okay? What time is it? It's three o'clock. I still have snacks at Sam's Club. I like the snacks. That's why I enjoy those things. I call it the cocktail hour. Cocktail Holy shit, hang on. I gotta stop, really? Oh, look at you, you motherfucker. Ooh, that's a bad word. Mother. <laughs> you are shifty. That's a good name for him. I was gonna name him Logic. Then I was gonna name him Mischief. Or Mischief. Shifty. Because he is. He's shifty. Uh, doesn't like hood people. Do you want to say hood people? I mean, people with hoodies on. Whiskey dicks. I don't believe that they made a, a place called that. I, I'm a comic, and I don't have a filter. Whiskey dick? I mean, that's a malady, isn't it? Did you fuck her? Oh, man, I had a whiskey dick. Couldn't get it up. Had a whiskey dick. Some barbecue? Yeah. We're gonna get it. Whiskey dip.